I would like to tell you about products that should be found in every household medicine cabinet. Soft One self-adhesive bandage, quick stop spray for stopping bleeding, and hydrogel for the first aid of burns. All these products can be used at home or work or by different medical professionals. Soft One has been developed and made in Norway. Soft One products are available in two widths, 3 and 6 cm wide, and in different lengths. This product contains latex. General facts about Soft One wound bandage. It is self-adhesive, will not stick to the skin or body hair. It contains latex, but does not contain any glue substances. It can also be used when the skin is wet, or when topical ointments or creams have been applied. It is skin-friendly, stretchable and compliant. It does not prevent joint movement. It is breathable. It adheres to itself even when wet. It absorbs blood or wound secretions. It leaves no residue on the skin. You will appreciate the easy, multi-purpose use of this product. It is ideal to use for first aid, in daycare facilities and schools, at home, and during travel and sports activities. Soft One is at its best when used to treat and protect scratches and scrapes, cuts and burns in the extremities, from toes to legs and fingers to arms. You can use the Soft One bandage even without scissors. The use of Soft One wound bandage is really easy. You can always apply Soft One bandage as a first aid measure to a bleeding wound. The most common household accident is a cut in a finger. Cut a suitable length of soft one and place it around the area to be protected. Press the edges together. Tighten by stretching the material as needed. Turn toward the area to be protected. If the wound bleeds profusely, apply more than one layer or add a folded pad of soft one on top of the wound afterwards. Add a wound pad if necessary. Mold by pressing lightly. During the cold season, many people have problems with skin cracks in the fingertips. Also, the cuticles can tear easily. These conditions are painful and make working difficult. There is also a risk of infection. Massage a small amount of crack cream in the affected area in the evening. Apply some more cream in the morning and add a protective soft one bandage. This will allow you to work normally and the cracked skin has time to heal. A helpful tip. Soft one bandage has to be long enough to cover at least one joint in order to stay put. Small burns can be treated with hydrogel and soft one bandage. For example, the hand can brush against the side of the pan or oven. When treating burns, it is vital to cool the affected area down quickly and efficiently to relieve the pain. Therefore, the hydrogel bottle for the first state of burn should always be available near places of work. Hydrogel cools the burn and protects the deeper tissues from damage. Hydrogel contains 96% water and about 1% of antiseptic tea tree oil. 
Spray hydrogel generously over the affected skin area. It cools the skin and relieves pain quicker and more efficiently than holding the burnt area under cold water. Use a soft one wound bandage to cover the area as needed. Cool at least 20 minutes. If the burnt skin area is small or superficial, this is all you need to do. Keep the soft one bandage moist with hydrogel. Keep on cooling as long as the burn is painful. Change the soft one bandage as needed. When the burnt area is larger or deep, you can use the products from a mini burns kit to treat it. The mini burns kit contains the following products. One 10 by 10 cm sterile hydrogel burn dressing. Two single-use bags of hydrogel. 50 cm of soft one bandage. If the burn is the size of a palm or deep, you can apply the sterile hydrogel dressing directly on the burn, cover loosely with a soft one bandage. Always show a deep or large burn to a physician or other healthcare professional for evaluation and further instructions. You can also squeeze hydrogel on the burn directly from the bag. Cover with a soft one bandage. Soft one is an ideal dressing for burns as it will not stick to the burn. Hydrogel is also water soluble and it will not soil. Quick Stop is a powder in a spray can that stops bleeding when sprayed directly onto the bleeding area. It is suitable for small cuts and lesions, as well as nosebleeds. Quick Stop is a fine powder that should be sprayed onto the wound. Shake the can and spray from a 15 cm distance. It will not sting when used in this way, as the alcohol in a propellant gas is evaporated before reaching the wound. Quick Stop covers the wound with microparticles of oxidized cellulose that have a great ability to absorb blood. It will also form an elastic film over the wound. Quick Stop is fast and efficient. It also lessens the chance of the wound bleeding again. It's made of natural materials, and it is allergy-tested. The active ingredient is calcium sodium salt of oxidized cellulose. If you have a cut on a facial area, spray quick stop first on a soft one bandage or a gauze bed from a 15 cm distance, and press the cut. Hold it there for a few moments to stop bleeding. Small accidents of scrapes and cuts can easily be treated this way. If the cut is deep, bleeding profusely, or you're using blood thinning medications, it may be necessary to apply a soft one bandage to the wound after using Quick Stop. In case of a nosebleed, spray Quick Stop onto a piece of soft one bandage or gauze pad and roll it into a tampon form that you can insert into the bleeding nostril. These products are for everyone, including children and diabetics. These products are suitable for home or professional use. You will appreciate the easy, multi-purpose use of this product.